let's go through all the riding gear that I've been wearing for the past 16 months on this world tour. Thanks to Bikers Motorport UK for sorting me out with all my riding gear. It's been absolutely epic. Now, I probably should have washed these clothes um, before doing this video because it's pretty to make them look the best. But I hope this shows you just how rugged and epic they are. Like, I haven't washed these. I probably shouldn't say this on video, but I haven't washed these in about three months. They haven't washed. I mean, I've been in the north exploring the mountains. Uh, in, in his Ahmedabad shower by the Afghanistan border, all these places I've been, going through deserts and then mountains and snowy passes, and I've not washed them in like over three months. So, yeah, I mean, I probably should redo the video when, it, when they're clean because they look really nice when they're clean. But I think I quite like them when they're muddy. Anyway, let's move it on. Also, the bike as well. I probably should have cleaned the bike as well actually for this video. But um, the bike is also covered in northern Pakistan mountain dust, mountain dirt, which I love. Anyway. Moving on, so the gear, uh, yeah, this is the the Dane uh, Limford uh, 2 Gore-Tex jacket and with the trousers as well. Now, this set is epic, it's so good, it's got like a double, it's got like three layers, yeah, three layers in total, this is the, the, the main layer, then underneath, you can zip inside here, you've got a zip here, and you can zip in like two thermal layers inside, which is just awesome. So that's really good for the winter. And the same with the trousers as well. You got a thermal layer which you can zip inside to keep you extra warm. Uh, then, for the summer, you've got all these vents. So you've got these vents here, similar to here. And then it's got like sort of Velcro here. So you zip them both down, fold them down, and then you've got these vents coming through here. So, and you've got the same things as well, here as well. You undo these two, and then you sort of fold it in on itself. And then you've got vents here as well. So these have really, really been amazing. I'll do like a more thorough, in-depth uh, review of this gear in particular when it's all nice and clean. And then I've got these Diffy boots. So these are the boots that I've been wearing every day for the past 16 months. And you can see they've been completely beaten and battered, but they're still rideable, they're still awesome. And uh, these are absolutely amazing. So you've just got the big Velcro, Thing here, two easy quick release things here, like that, like that, and then the Velcro here. So you just do that up. So it's super fast and easy to put the boots on. I absolutely love it. When I was freezing cold in the mountains, the awesome guys at Bikers Motorport UK um, sent me out some Gerbing heated clothing uh, for, for the winter. And that has just been absolutely unbelievable. I'll show you how the heated clothing connects and how that works. Okay, so you wear the Gerbing heater jacket underneath your main motorcycle jacket. Now, all my heated clothing from Bikers Motorport UK is powered by the bike's battery. Now, when the cable's not in use, I just keep it hidden down the side of the bike. So I pull that out and connect that to the Gerbing controller that controls the heat settings. So plug that in, that splits to two cables which connect to the jacket. Now those cables are just hidden in a little zip pocket when not in use. Then the third cable from the jacket connects to the controller that runs down the trouser leg to the heated socks, which keep my feet nice and toasty. Then I zip up the jacket. Now there's also a cable that runs down my arm and comes out by the cuff that links to my heated gloves that keep my hands nice and nice and warm. So it's all an amazing system. All the cables are hidden away and it's just incredible. So that combined with my heated grips and winter muffs keep me nice and toasty in the winter. Okay, then, I've got the Diffy, same brand as the boots, gloves. These are the summer gloves. I've also got the winter gloves as well. Now this one you can see is actually a little bit melted because when I was in Albania a year ago, I was so cold that I put my gloves on my engine to warm up my gloves. This is before I had all the heated stuff, right? And I actually ended up melting all the plastic. So whenever I look at my gloves, I remember how stupid I was putting my gloves on my engine to make them heated. Um, I was so cold. So the riding base layer that I have, just for keeping you extra warm, I've got the thermal base layer top, long sleeved, and the trousers as well. 
and they make such a difference. When I was riding in the winter, they were absolutely amazing at keeping me warm. And then in the summertime, they're really good at cooling you down. Because as soon as you sweat, it sort of somehow cools you down. I don't know how it works, I'm not a scientist. So yeah, I think I've got the summer and the winter base layer, which are both fantastic. So if you need any gear for your trip, clothes, boots, helmet, gloves, whatever, check out Biker Motorport UK um, for all the stuff you need. Okay, now for the helmet. This is the Schuberth C3 Pro helmet. Um, it's a flip-up helmet. I think it's got a real name, but I don't know what it's called. Is it modular helmet? Who knows? This is a flip-up helmet. This little red toggle here. It's amazing. I've got my GoPro attached on the side. I've got a little microphone installed inside here. I've also installed the uh, Senna C3 Pro 10U, I think it's called, the intercom system. So I these two buttons here, I press down these two buttons, Hello, you can hear the lady say hello inside. And then I connect this to my Bluetooth on my phone and my music comes through on the speakers that I installed, which is a pretty easy job to do, inside here. Now this is really awesome, I love this. This is really cool. So riding with the uh, music is a lot more exciting. And if you've got headphones on it, it sometimes hurts with headphones. With this, it's amazing. Shuba C3 Pro and the Senna 10U intercom. Let's turn that off, see the battery. Yeah, so I love this, this is fantastic. Uh, I've had to remove the, uh, fog uh, pin lock thing inside because it was still scratched up and ruined for some reason even though it's inside the helmet I don't know how that happened so uh, and i couldn't see out so i've had to remove that now but it now means that the visor fogs up really easily so i need to get a new uh fog anti-fog thing but uh yeah this is the helmet i love it it's really cool yeah all right next thing